What up, people? We're back in Anime Last Stand, and in this video, we're gonna see which unit is better Glitch Guts or Glitch the Escanor. They both have similar uh, stats. I, what I'm gonna do is actually take off the items too. So, unequip and unequip. They have no items. They're going to be on the same team, so they're both going to get the plus 20% team damage. And, uh, yeah. Basically, we're going to see what's up. For their skill trees, I put both of the skill trees the same. This is the way it goes. So, yeah. Let's just jump into uh, an infinite that isn't better for one or the other. Okay. So we're going to do infinite water because we have this square right here or rectangle, probably more of a rectangle. Well, it's not really a rectangle because it goes like this, but let's not worry about that. Let's just start uh, investing and see which one could go to the highest uh, nightmare round. Let me know, put in the comments who you think's better, glitched Escanor or glitched guts. I'll judge you based on what you say. So let's just farm it up. I see that they don't have any like uh, weakness or anything. So it should be good. They're both neutral mobs versus our characters. So it's going to be fair chance for both of them. All right. I'll cut to when I have a lot of money. Okay. So first we're going to start with pride. I will say on placement pride is a lot better why did it sound like a horse right there but uh, yeah he's doing 5.3 million damage compared to uh 437 and he's hybrid right on placement plus he does the fire right away he does bleed but yeah he's not hybrid and i think you have to invest to get bleed anyways we'll see that later let's just plop him down boom we're going to put them in the exact same spots. And as you can see, he's doing uh, 60 plus 50. 60 plus 50, that's 110. They do around the same damage. Like if I go over here, just so you could see a comparison. He does a little bit less damage than him. Ooh. And he attacks a little slower. Let's see who attacks slower. He's doing 6.7. He's doing a 4. Hmm. Range is about the same. So Escanor does like 7 million more in the normal damage. Yeah, and they boof. Eh, boof. And they both do... Uh, 60 mil. So, yeah. On paper, it looks like Escanor is going to be better. But maybe the bleed just is better. We'll find out later. Let's just fast forward to uh, when he starts failing. We'll take off this dude. Give him no help. And, yeah. All right, people. So right now, as you can see, he's not one-shotting them anymore. So I'm going to start recording from here. Yeah, starting to put up a struggle. Okay, what I also want to do is maybe just throw Guts here. And if we know that Guts clears waves that he can't, as soon as dudes pass him, we know it's cooked. Ooh, he's interfering with the wave. Right? Yeah, yeah. We gotta move him back. Put him over here. And now he's not touching. They're not touching circles. Right? 
Okay. So as soon as they pass this line, I guess I'll just sell him because we know it's cooked and that what round he went to. He's going to 102. Not bad, though. Just solo. I did damage skill tree because I'm trying to raise this as high as possible. There is the elemental one, but I don't know how, like, I don't even know if that works, to be honest. I was using elemental for him at first, but I just did it for this. I switched to the damage one for the video, but I think I'm going to keep it on damage for now until I find out that maybe elementals battle. Uh, why, what's with me today? I can't say words. W. We should just say letters now. No more words, just letters. All right, let's see what's up. But, write, somebody write down all the words I mispronounced. <laughs> uh. Okay, so he already he's already cooked there. All right, let's sell him and put him here. If he could handle these dudes, we know it's Donskis. But he basically lost it to, like, what, wave 110? Something like that? But yeah, they're not killing that boss. I think they're both going to die around the same wave. Alright, let's just go... Uh, let's end this wave, and we'll try it with just Guts. Alright, so let's retry. And see what's up. We're going to do the same thing, just with Guts. Let's put down our unit just to farm some points. And we'll cut back when we have a lot of money. All right. Let's uh, drop guts. Put him right here. So, yeah. He is more of an investment in the beginning because you don't get hybrid right away. Even though Escanor is so much more expensive... Esquinor's hybrid and does 5 million damage right off the drop. Guts, you have to invest money before he's good and he's not hybrid until the later stages when he starts doing uh, whatever this is, dismember or whatever it's called. But yeah. Now we'll cut back to when it starts failing and uh, we'll actually see who's the better unit i think they're both gonna die around the same boss it was like the 109 110 boss we'll see him though all right uh so guts isn't uh one shotting anymore he's having he's struggling against dudes like this Let's see if he's able to kill that uh, boss that Escanor wasn't able to. We'll give him a fair shot. Microwave. Okay. So I think he's going to spawn very soon. As you can see, the attack pattern is very different. Guts is uh, multi-shots. He attacks with a bunch of uh, shots instead of just one single shot. This wasn't the dude that Escanor wasn't able to kill, was it? I think it was like 109. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's the one after him. Okay.
This is crazy. Right here. He's not able to kill this boss. They're basically the same. But uh, Escanor is a better starter unit. Same placement, same result. So Escanor was not. They're both basically. Uh, they're both basically the same. So yeah, pick your poison. Uh, if you're talking about final waves, but yeah, they're both good, both uh, top tier units. And uh, hope you enjoyed that video. That was revealing. Uh, take it easy and have a nice day. Peace.